All right, as a homeless person, it's an extra challenge to find places to lay down, to rest, because I'm on my feet quite a bit, and when I go on a big walk, um, I can't be thinking about my my end goal of where I'm gonna, you know, when I'm at, when I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna lie on the couch and watch TV. No, it's it's just a constant uh, kind of walking. I, I don't really have any any particular goals uh, to get to any any uh, safe zone everywhere as as has to be kind of a potential for being a safe zone to lay down and, and not be harassed so as I'm walking I'm looking for places that maybe I can like I can sneak in and and, uh, and find a place to snooze it's a place to relax um, <clears throat> because I can't always and I can't always consider uh, the same spot over and over again to relax at I have to keep several options open unlike what the home dwellers do and uh, I mean my, my car is is breaking down and and further and further I need to look at places uh, that uh, where I can't rely on my car I've been primarily relying on my car for rest you know uh, like you know when I get back to my car I'll rest but um, when if I become fully homeless like completely without a car I can't be thinking that my mind frame has to change and I have to think about uh, potential places where I can relax, where I can sleep and lay down, like in between, in bushes or, um, in a, you know, in a hiding spot behind a wall or just a nice isolated place, um, because trying to relax in the public gets their attention. I watched, uh, like this Casey Neistat, he pointed out a guy just laying on the floor in an airport and he had to record it. He's like, you know, he, he was so amused by it. Well, uh, there are those people that are amused by it, and then there are those, those people who are disgusted by it, by it and enough to call the cops. I've had the cops called on me. Uh, one time I was laying on a picnic table in the winter time, just relaxing. It was next to a library in Race Lake, Wisconsin. Cops were called on me. And guess what? They gave me a hard time. You know, and then afterward they're like, people don't normally lay on picnic tables, so you shouldn't be doing that. They they didn't even enforce a law, okay? They wanted me to clear out. They were like, you need to leave, all right? And I was like, well, I'm using the internet. But, and they were like, well, you can't be laying down on picnic tables. So, I get a complaint, laying down on a picnic table, which doesn't harm the picnic table. But, I mean, it was enough to get people's attention, thinking maybe I was in uh, physical trouble, a medical problem and then it turns into a norm enforcement more than a law enforcement because the cops have to respond to those calls and uh, they want to prevent those calls from happening in the future so they'll uh, they'll start to enforcing a norm um, which goes above and beyond their own duties as law enforcement and try to do norm enforcement as a uh, pro being like proactive in in uh, trying to prevent further complaints so um, homeless people uh, get the brood end of that and you, you pretty much you have to you have to hide okay that's it's a cat and mouse it's a it turns into a cat and mouse game where you just have to uh, figure out where you think this and you're taking a gamble too it's it's gambling where do you think is going to be the safest place that you can uh, lay down and relax after uh, going on a big walk. Like I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, there's a food bank not far from here, and if I have to carry like 40 pounds of food, I may want to sit down for a little bit on my way back to my car carrying that. Um, I think I might drive this time, but uh, I have made big walks, and I get tired. You know, it's like. I want to sit down for a little bit, maybe enjoy some of this food, um, but it tends to be in public, very, very public areas. I, I have a lot of difficulty finding um, nice, isolated spots where I can relax and, and for a little bit and recover some energy, maybe eat a little bit. It's it's very hard. I mean, I was just I was in one city sitting on a picnic table. I was gonna do some little picnic table fitness, and a cop pulls up and starts telling me about how skateboarders are are ruining the parks, ruining the the, the picnic tables. He harassed me because I was sitting on a picnic table. 
So it's very hard. It's a cat and mouse game for homeless people to relax.